to the now Tuesday, January 22nd meeting of the Montpelier Design Review Committee. I will let staff and members introduce themselves. Hannah Smith. Meredith Crandall, staff. Stephen Everett. Marcus Mercy. For anybody who has not been here before, we are advisory to the Development Review Board. We will hear the applications and move them forward to either administrative approval or board approval as required. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve the agenda? I move to approve the agenda. Second. Move to a second. All in favor of the agenda, raise your hand. <laughs> and welcome, introduce yourself since you're Benji. <laughs> okay. Our first application is for 105 State Street, State of Vermont Buildings and General Services. Is anyone here to represent them? Come up and have a seat. Introduce yourselves. Sure. Diane Colgan, Property Management, Buildings and General Services. C-O-L-G-A-N? Yes. And uh, Stephen Fry, uh, Property Management, uh, Buildings and General Services as well. Okay. And describe your new parking lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Diane, do you want to do the honors? Uh, sure. Uh, number 105 State Street, um, former site of Gulf Station. Yes. Um, uh, the state is proposing a short term lease with the current owner, um, Tom Wilson. Yes. Um, yeah, and we have uh, an application before you for 10 uh, permitted spaces for in September, uh, and plus one handicap space um, with a temp temp very temporary mindset. That mm -hmm. We understand uh, the landowner is going to start building uh, their construction project at some point soon, perhaps in April or whenever it weather might. Weather dependent. Weather dependent. As soon as the weather is over. Right. right. And think <laughs> maybe the ground has to fall and stuff like that. And so, they get a permit. Yeah. <laughs> little <laughs> detail. Yes. Um, and so uh, I understand we've kind of, uh, since there is a parking shortfall, uh, Taylor Street uh, going offline. Uh, there was some arrangements made that uh, we were not, Diane and I weren't necessarily part of the arrangements, but um, this uh, state has opened a lot um, that it, on a temporary basis, uh, starting right after or around the legislative session kickoff, and uh, it's in place as we speak with uh, barriers and some of the elements that are part of our application. We're here to talk about our application and all that and see if you have any questions. This would be some state employees, is that correct? Okay. Not legislators, state employees. Um, I think uh, five of the spaces are designated for legislators. Yes. Oh, really? Yeah, and uh, the hours <coughs> of use are in the daytime. There is no after hour use by state employees. I mean, it seems like you've already got signage up there that says that it's designated spots for designated venues. Yeah. Yep. It was previously approved for some kind of barrier there anyway. Yeah. So uh, mm -hmm. these are all just Jersey barriers mm -hmm. set in place. My only comment. Yeah, it, it, I don't have it's the same a problem. Mm -hmm. Small modification from what was approved before, anyway. Yeah. Well, and if you had other things that you wanted thrown in or you know some adjustments, that then you can put them in. But we had it for you. Anybody <laughs> else have any it's questions, it's, suggestions? I was just going to say a kind of a working motto, and actually Steve and I went and looked at it today, and uh, it's just a up for proposal. <laughs> yeah. It's a visual. Yeah. Right, yeah, and uh, we we think that uh, some of the signs, in fact, we may need to move some of the signs around to comply with our permit drawing a bit, and yeah. so we're coordinating that with our department. Stuff no, that's that fine. Through. Again, it's a temporary yeah. Cool. anyway. Yeah. Cool. It was just exciting to have the uh, capacity and the uh, 
short-term basis to help out. So, um, yes, I know that we had questions that we were, Mark in our office was working. Are you married? Yes. Okay. Hello. I'm Hi. Steve. Um, and I don't know if you have any questions following up from the stuff that you and he were talking about. No, I'm good. Just needed to run okay. in by. Anybody else have any here. questions, suggestions? In that case, I will run through. There's a set of criteria we have to go through to evaluate the applications. Um, design review recommendation form. I don't know if you have one, but I'll read uh, through no. as we go. Preservation or reconstruction of the appropriate historic style of the probes projects in the historic district involves an historic structure. Uh, I wouldn't call this a historic style, but <laughs> it doesn't apply in this particular case. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district. Temporary parking barriers are acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials with other properties in the district. Again, temporary barriers are acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping not proposed in this application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials acceptable in this location for this purpose. Location and appearance of all utilities, no lighting or anything added. I think there's street lighting there anyway, <laughs> probably. So that's not applicable either. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house. Again, the temporary parking barriers are acceptable. All in favor of the application as proposed, raise your hand. And I'll have one of you, whoever you elect, to sign in the lower left. Thank you all. Thank you for coming. Have a wonderful evening, and thank you for your service for the city. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Stay warm. Yes. <laughs> Applications for 36 College Street. I'm assuming that's you. Yes. And introduce yourself. Katie Gustafson. K A T Y? I E. I E. Yes. It's on the application. Okay, no, no. okay. Uh, another temporary parking lot. Yes. <laughs> and in fact, I've been working with Steve, so okay. I, he may just be able to fill in if there are um, additional questions that I don't have um, okay. all the background on. So again, you're using the tennis court for temporary parking? Correct. You can just sort of describe it. Um, so we were approached by the state to um, potentially house the Agency of Transportation that was displaced uh, by the fire at National Life. It's temporary. It's a swing space as they make their way to their final location. Um, and because of the square footage calculation and just because of the number of people potentially that it might be, we were looking at um, putting the about 25 parking spots in that area to accommodate that. Um, the college has an interesting schedule where it's sometimes totally full and then other times not at all. And uh, because of that ebb and flow, I'd really like to be able to offer the state a location where um, very close to the buildings that they're looking at leasing, where they it's dedicated for them, so it's uh, easier for them to be able to find parking during their temporary stay. When you say temporary, will you? I don't know for certain. I'm not sure if they know for certain. I So I think I wrote, uh, give or take one or up to two years was the maximum, yeah. and it likely wouldn't be that long. And I'm reading a, a sentence in here that I don't understand, which is although this is temporary request, spaces will be marked and lot will be sealed afterwards in order to assure 
there would be no evidence of it afterwards. Right, the lines, just the white lines that eventually when we can paint them on, we would, so we could demarcate, and then afterwards just reseal it so that the lines aren't there after the fact, yeah. So, I think really the idea that it is temporary, that this yep. would be here, and then when the state leaves, it'll go back to being um, some sort of place it is. Uh, Possibly. I mean, again, as part of our previous master plan, we had in there the possibility that we might create permanent parking there. I think we will put that in our next master plan, and whether or not we would do that, we'll see. So this particular request is absolutely temporary based on having this potential tenant in those buildings. I assume the tennis courts weren't used very often. They're, they're not used at all. I think I wrote in the application we used it one day for a state uh, meeting that they were holding over at CAFS, um, and that worked really well. Otherwise, it's just empty. Um, you know, there's a basketball hoop that uh, one of the schools who rents space from us put there. Um, occasionally, there are kids chalk drawing, riding bicycles. Um, but because we would be using it Monday through Friday, only for the state, it would still be available um, on weekends um, and you know, in the late evening or early evenings for the community to still use as they currently do. I don't see it. I haven't seen anybody play tennis there, but I have seen people play basketball. Yeah. I have seen a kid use. Yeah. And this would be a shame to use that. Well, and the, the, there is a basketball court, Correct. right? That's in the back, and that's still going to be there. We would, the parking places would not be touching yeah. the basketball court area. It would just be where the former tennis courts were. Yeah. You said that this is a potential um, lease with the state. Mm -hmm. Assuming that it goes through, when would the start date be? I don't know. I, I don't think that they have a specific date determined yet. So we don't know then when this might start. Correct. Well, the, the, um, the permit would be good for two years, um, but that's something that we'll also hash out at DRB. I know that that's going to be one of the things that will be questioned. I've never built a tennis court or a parking lot before. <laughs> they, um, it was originally built as a tennis court. Correct. And I don't know what parking on it would be for, um, whether that would damage it the way it would yeah. not be repairable. Well, we certainly don't ever plan to use it as tennis courts again. Yeah. So I think similar to all of our other lots, um, there will be a certain amount of wear and tear that um, you know we'll have to deal with. Yeah. Can I? It's only been there 50 years, so right. I'm assuming a lot of settlement has already taken place. Yeah. Can I just address something on that? Because I've researched the past permit history. Um, there were requirements as to you know research into how it was graded underneath what the underlying surface was and what they would have to do to then repave it, and it's been paved over as the parking lot. Like that aspect of the previous permit to convert it into parking was done yep. and then everything stopped okay. so you know I have a feeling that if this were to go on to a longer use the you know, Department of Public Works would probably take a, a fresh look at it um, to take a look and see how durable it would be and make sure that the, the previous permit requirements for the gravel underneath and drainage and everything have been met any other questions comments suggestions Again, I can go through the criteria for this as well. Number one, preservation and reconstruction of the appropriate historic style. I would say that's not applicable in this case. Harmony of exterior design with other properties in the district, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed exterior materials, acceptable. Compatibility of proposed landscaping and unproposed in the application. Prevention of the use of incompatible designs, buildings, color schemes, or exterior materials, acceptable. Uh, no change in utilities, lighting, or anything of that nature, so not applicable. Recognition of and respect for view quarters and significant vistas, including gateway views of the city and state house, not applicable in this location. All in favor of the application is proposed. Raise your hand. Again, 
This is a more administrative. No, this goes this to the development going. review board tonight. Tonight. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, no, Audrey had messed that up. I didn't spot that. So yeah, that goes tonight. Thank you all. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Okay. See you in a little bit. <laughs> to look at the minutes from January the 7th. Yes, we have enough people to approve it. And again, the big project was the Chevy family. I care. By the way, I went back and looked and I had a picture from back in the late 40s and early 50s fire there. Oh. And they had a fire there. And they had somebody, and I'm not sure, I couldn't find anything that showed the front view from like 1875 or 1900. <coughs> but when the fire happened there, when it was the fire 70s, there were windows there with a lot of small panes matching what was on the side. Mm. But they were old, old, old casement windows. <laughs> So it's hard to tell what the original was. And I think we have approved a, what, a one over one or a two over two, which really matches the building next door. But who knows what was there in you know, 1920. But I think that either the small panes, I think actually the probably the two over two probably matches, again, the street front. Yeah. Yeah. It's more compatible with everything on both sides because the Nicky building has one over one, so the next door, the Miller block, is the two over two. So, but I did take the pictures that I had and I actually gave them to the guy over at Lansing. Awesome. And just a very interesting point when that fire happened, it happened because a legislator from the Bennington area, um, it was a cigarette issue, <laughs> and he was sued by the Wow. I don't know the result of the suit, but that's yeah. where the capital market was. Yes. I think they were either in the nail place or the pedals and things place. I have pedals and things. It was closest, yeah. closest to the, the lobster pot building. or suggestions or amendments to what was reported on the minutes. And then again, 25 East State Street was the green color in the building. And again, he said he has some neighbors that I was never Second. Second. All in favor of the minutes from January the 7th, raise your hand. Minutes are approved. Next meeting, February 4th. Mm -hmm. uh, right now we don't have any applications for it, but we still have some time. Okay. And does anybody have anything else, or do I hear a motion to adjourn? I have a motion to adjourn. All second. All in favor, <laughs> raise your hand. Meeting is adjourned.